AK covers. Overall about the product. Our above knee shape has been developed over the years to restore the appearance and silhouette of the leg, while allowing the wide variety of prosthetic knees available on the market to move freely. AK covers start at the top of the foot shell and go to the apex of the knee unit, but do not cover past the knee. We have tried to make measuring as quick and intuitive as possible, needing only the length and circumference to manufacture the cover. This makes Allel's AK covers a low-time investment option for many clinicians and an exciting finishing touch for their clients. In this section, we will go over how to measure an Allel's AK cover as well as some of the technical features and potential adjustments you may require. Racerback and Sportback for AK There are two back shape options for the Allel's AK covers, Racerback and Sportback. Though the Racerback has more coverage, neither back shape is fully enclosed down to the ankle. These shapes were strategically created not to interfere with the foot components, therefore allowing us to offer our covers to a wider range of clients. If we were to encompass or fully enclose the ankle, it creates excess bulk and causes the cover to lose its anatomical shape. The racer back has ankle tabs for a more complete silhouette, while the sport back features an open ankle which allows for larger, more dynamic foot components. Heavy Duty AK covers can be ordered with either the standard or thicker heavy duty material. The heavy duty line of AK covers has all of the same measuring requirements and design options as the regular material with an added level of protection and durability. The main differences include, typical weight is approximately greater than two pounds compared to one pound for a regular AK cover. The heavy duty covers are less flexible and can be more effort to put on and take off. Heavy-duty covers are an excellent option for clients who are harder on their components. We typically recommend this option for bilateral amputees or for anyone concerned with durability. How to measure an AK Our AK covers require two main measurements, the length and their circumference. The length measurement is taken from the apex of the knee all the way down to the top of the foot shell. Using this as a starting point, remove half an inch to an inch to ensure that there will be a gap between the bottom of the cover and the top of the foot shell. Typically, if the patient's ankle is more dynamic, you will want to remove the full inch, whereas less mobile ankles will be fine with half an inch gap. The gap gives the prosthetic foot room to move without impacting range of motion. If the cover is too long, constant impact from the foot can crack the cover. Keep in mind that the length measurement you provide will be the length that is manufactured, so please remove the gap before recording it in your order. For the circumference measurement, please measure the widest part of your patient's sound limb. This measurement will be used to create the outside circumference of your patient's cover. If a patient is a bilateral amputee, please feel free to select a size that suits them. These two measurements will be the basis of the cover, and further adjustments can be made to accommodate any particular needs your patient may have. AK Adjustments Based on extensive feedback from patients and clinicians, we have identified a few circumstances that require additional information for above-knee clients. Polycentric For polycentric or four-bar knees, the main goal is to avoid the cover's top strap interfering with either the knee's mechanics or the patient's gait. To negate this issue, we will take an additional measurement for the order that allows us to drop the top strap below the knee system. To calculate this clearance, we require the distance from the apex of the knee to the bottom of the knee system. If the straps are dropped more than roughly halfway down the cover, it can be beneficial to use foam padding to stabilize the top half of the cover. Because the bottom strap keeps the cover secure, if the straps are done tight enough, you shouldn't have any issues with the cover moving or rotating. In lieu of having a higher top strap, the foam can help ensure the cover is cushioned at the top of the knee and sits properly on the prosthesis. Total Knee For a total knee, we require the same measurements we need for any polycentric or four bar knee so that we can move the top strap below the build height of the knee unit. The reason we separate it from the other polycentric knees is because of the large hammer style component at the top of the knee. To ensure longevity and durability for our clients with the total knee, we will create a small dip at the top of the cover so that the hammer does not continually impact the inside of the cover. If a client wishes to keep the arch top that is normally shown on the AK cover, please select our heavy duty material. High profile feet. For a high profile foot, we want to ensure that the cover's bottom strap does not interfere with either the foot mechanics or the patient's gait. 
To negate this issue, we will take an additional measurement for the order that allows us to raise the bottom strap above the foot system. To calculate this clearance, we require the distance from the top of the patient's foot shell to the top of the foot system. The models of feet that would benefit from this adjustment would be microprocessors, hydraulics, blade feet, or any other foot with large geometries. Please select the sport back option for this adjustment so the cover itself will not interfere with the foot system. Through knee. For a through knee or knee disarticulation patient, we do not require any additional measurements, but do require that you communicate this. By selecting that your patient is a through knee, we will adjust the shape of our AK cover to better accommodate the patient's prosthesis. How to put on an AK cover. Straps. All of our covers come equipped with two polyurethane straps that secure the cover to the prosthesis. These military grade straps are manufactured in the USA and have been proven to be more durable than using a hard connection. Based on years of research and development and user feedback, we have found that hard connections are a reoccurring failure point in the cover. Because the straps have some give, it allows the constant movement created from each step to be dispersed through the cover rather than through a rigid connection that would fail over time. Though the straps are intuitive to use, there are a few simple tips and tricks that keep the covers tight, secure, and prevent the AK covers from rotating. Firstly, with the above knee cover off of the prosthesis, look at the bottom strap. Make sure the buckle of the bottom strap is as close to the inside of the cover as possible. Doing this will allow you to get the bottom strap much tighter and prevent the cover from rotating. The position of the bottom strap is critically important to an AK cover because it is responsible for most of the cover's grip on the prosthesis and needs to be quite secure around the pylon. Once you weave the bottom strap to its optimal position, spread the cover over the prosthesis and weave the strap end through the buckle, pulling it as tight as possible. You should notice how secure the cover feels on the prosthesis even with only one strap secured. If it doesn't feel secure, it is not pulled tight enough around the pylon. Afterwards, do the top strap up for additional stability and security. Once the straps are done up, tuck the tails to the inside of the cover and feel free to trim if desired.